Question number nine, Gary Ann Fenton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport. Why is the construction of City Rail Link only beginning in 2020? Honourable Gerry Brownlee. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, that is the government's preferred timeline. Uh, the proposed construction date uh, has been set from our perspective at 2020, even though analysis suggests that this is five years before it's required to meet demand generated from employment and passenger patronage. Mr Speaker, we are moving forward to that date because we believe in the future of Auckland as a powerhouse of our economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Darian Fenton. To the Minister, what does he say to precinct properties, the owners of the downtown centre, who are offering to dig part of the tunnel themselves so they can get started on the redevelopment of their site, and the owners of the 300 million Elliott Tower project that would like to start by 2016, but because of his playing politics with Auckland's future, will be held up by five years? Honourable uh, Jerry Brownlee. Well, a couple of points, Mr. Speaker. Firstly, uh, there is nothing to stop uh, the downtown project uh, progressing as they have suggested. Uh, there is also no particular involvement of the rail loop with the other project that is mentioned there. And in any event, it would be odd for the government to commit to a $3 billion project for a $200 million project. Mr. Speaker, uh, I think the other point is that this was well signalled in June of last year and there were criteria laid down uh, that were perfectly reasonable. The uh, Central City Access Study uh, suggested that there would be a 46 per cent growth in employment and up to 20 million passenger movements by 2020. Mr Speaker, the most recent information we have is that neither of those uh, statistics are likely to be anywhere near uh, achieved, and nor are the much lesser and more generous uh, criteria laid down by the Prime Minister, that being uh, a 20 per cent increase in the number of people, 25 per cent growth in employment in the CBD, uh, and uh, 20 million passenger movements as a trend. Mr Speaker, neither of those are happening. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Why did he deliberately pick the trigger of rail passenger trips exceeding $20 million for the release of funding when he knew full well that rail passenger trips are not projected to reach that target, even by 2020? And is this just another example of playing politics with the prosperity and growth of Auckland? Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, no. The figure was, in fact, from the uh, Central City Access Study, not cooked up by the government. We're not playing politics. We've made it clear uh, we would like to fund the project from 2020. If those two criteria can be met, uh, two criteria that are about half of what the Access Study claimed would happen, uh, then it could come forward. But there is no trend in the December 2013 analysis to suggest that the timeline of 2020 is anything other than reasonable. Supplementary question, Darian Fenton. To the Minister. Is he aware that by next year the Britomart station will be at capacity for train movements and that by 2020 morning traffic in Auckland will be so congested it will have slowed to seven kilometres per hour? Is that a real well, Mr Honourable Speaker, Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, two things. Firstly, there is, uh, firstly, there is uh, the, the, the commitment that the government has made to electrification, 1.6 billion, including new electric trains. But once you've got those trains, once you've got the electrified system, what's really important to make it work is to have people on it. And while the train stations might be chocker with trains, if people aren't using them, there's little point investing further. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Was the government's backflip on the City Rail Link a genuine commitment to the project or an... Order, order. Can I ask the member to start again? Was the government's backflip on the City Rail Link a genuine commitment to the project or an act of political expediency? And given that bringing the start date forward to 2015-16 wouldn't cost the taxpayer or the ratepayer an extra cent, doesn't his refusal to bring it forward indicate the latter? Mr. Honourable Speaker, Jerry Brownlee. the government has not done a backflip 
on the City Rail Link. What we have said is that we will fund it from 2020 or sooner if the criteria set down by the government, much more generous criteria and much more easily achieved than the Central City Access Study suggested, then it would be brought forward. Question number 10, Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the...